Right. <laughs> okay, anyways, you should have a huge week. I don't think you do. You're up, but you should have one of the weeks like which you which you would have liked and needed and you and you don't. So, before I teach what I wanted to say to you about the charts cuz Baba cuz he didn't do the trade, what what's your thoughts on that now seeing that these trades worked? Forget about Google. I know that cost a lot. Forget about that one. Just the mm -hmm. ones that you would have taken or did take or didn't take. Um Yes, yeah, I mean, so the first thing that hits me is how many days down to go? And um, I'm very aware of it pulling back into itself for maybe a day, which is what it has actually done for one day, and it's dropping again. Um, that's why it makes me hesitant to take the trade, because, like I said before about the ones that haven't worked, mm -hmm. I've taken them straight away, and right. I'm lost in them. I mean, I've done the same today. I mean, the diamonds today. Okay, let's um, let's not even talk about today's. Let's talk about Walmart, Target, yeah. the Spy, the Apple. Yes. Let's talk about all the ones that are done, not the ones that are still on. Let's talk about Baba, Facebook, and Google, even though you didn't take it because in other circumstances in the past you would have. So let's go back to Walmart, Target, Spy, Apple, Baba, Facebook, Google. Forget about the one today. I, I don't want to, we'll be on long, too long today. I guess yes. I have a webinar. I can't talk that long. Yes. I want to go over the ones that are, you already did, that you made money or lost in or didn't do. Forget about the one from today. Let's talk about, and I'm glad you're in the one for today, by the way. It's going to work. So let's not even talk about it right now. Yeah, I hope so. But the one, the one, Walmart, Walmart. Now, yes. listen, for, uh, I've noticed a pattern. I've noticed a pattern, and it's not just you, and this is why I'm recording this. It's not just you. There's a pattern. It's a pattern well, that's going you're on. Not recording. You're not recording at the moment, are you? No, no, no. I'm recording this because I'm, oh. I'm saying I'm noticing. The reason I'm recording this is because it's to help other people because I've noticed oh, right. a pattern. The pattern is, like, I called Walmart as an option. It didn't work. So if I call a trade that doesn't work, then the next one I call, nobody does. Then that's a huge trade. Then I call another, you know what I'm saying? Like I've noticed a pattern. So you did Walmart, you held, uh, just listen to me. Walmart trade was on. I'll go back oh, and look at the dates, it doesn't matter. But if I call, I've noticed, like if I call Walmart and it goes, it goes down, you're down in it, you're in this trade, okay? You're negative in the trade. Then say I call, and I, and I, I don't know the dates in front of me, but I know Apple was at the same period. So I call Apple. You don't do Apple. I don't know if you did or not. We're going to talk about it in a minute. But it's say I've noticed this is a pattern. You don't do Apple because Walmart's on. Walmart's down. You don't do the next call. The next one goes on to be huge. You miss it. Walmart's still down. And though Apple, if you had done it, would have made the loss back from Walmart. If you had killed it, flipped it, got out, taken the Apple or done both at the same time, and you would be up. I've noticed a pattern. It's a pattern with you and other people. It's a pattern. And do you hear what I'm saying here? Yes, you mean I keep taking the losses and not taking the gains. Yes. And you might not even take a trade that I call because you're in another trade that's on. It may work, may not work. It might be one day, it might be two days, it might be might be in it where you, where it's not going to work and you should have killed it. But either way, it's on. It's not up. So you don't do the next one. And that one is massively huge or even just immediately profitable in like a day, okay? And then you miss it, and then you are then you miss it, and it's over. Do you know, and I've noticed a pattern, and I think this is like, I think you're in a pattern here now too. Walmart flat out didn't work. It's nothing to do with pullbacks. Nothing to do with pullbacks at all. In fact, I'm gonna, do you see the Walmart chart here? I'm gonna blow it up. If I fast forward mm -hmm. all the way back. Yes, I do. This was a good call. It really should have went there. It didn't. Didn't have a problem with it not going there. Still thought it was a good call. This looked great here at one point. I don't remember the time of the day. I'd have to go back and look. But the point is, this was a huge 50% more into the bar. Almost got over the high. I, whatever happened here, it didn't. This trade didn't work out. But the second day, it looked like it was going to. I don't even know. You probably might have even been up in this at the second day at any point. I don't no, know if you're watching no, it. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Well, then you weren't. You weren't. Whatever. You weren't down a lot, though when that in that rally the second day like you could have gotten out of this trade 
flat, a partial loss, whatever. It wasn't a full loss. At whatever cool. point when this started cool. to retrace, I don't know what happened here, why, but this whole trade didn't work. So it's nothing to do with a pullback. The trade failed. It failed. I mean, it was a loss, period. End of story for everybody. There was, it just didn't work. So to say, well, this didn't work because it didn't pull back when I called it, no, the trade didn't work. Do you understand well, that? Well, yes, but it's obviously profit taking that's happening in that period before the stock goes up again. I'm telling you, this is going to go. I have no idea why this oh, didn't go. Oh, it didn't yeah. go. Absolutely. You know, whatever. I'll call I, it again when I see it to call it again, I which agree. I'm not right now. I agree. Yeah. But the problem is, is the time frame to what to when it is going to move. Well, obviously. <laughs> I mean, that's the obviously. In at the wrong time but frame. I called the trade believing it would work. It was a loss. So your your rationale is I'm not going to do this trade because it has to pull back is hogwash because the trade simply did not work and had nothing to do with pullbacks or not pullbacks. It had to do with the gap. I rated the gap. The gap rated per the system. It should have gone and worked. Yeah. It didn't work. Yes. Sometimes some trades don't work that should. This is the market. You have to, that's why you have to account for that. But I'm telling you, if you had watched this closely, the third day in, the third day in, when it didn't gap up, which it didn't, the third day, after the retracement and the second day, which didn't close right, you could have killed it. Could have killed it you could have killed it on the day three said oh this isn't going to work out whatever your loss was you let these go to full losses when they sometimes don't look right and then you but, miss out on positive trades but that's that's the problem yeah i, I know. got in i got in at the most inappropriate position it, no. so when it pulled back into the third day oh my, my god position, you say my that position was worth zero basically okay well, then so, you should have killed it. You should have killed so it so that you... there's no point. There's no point. Yes, there is a point. No, nope, you're, yeah. you're getting... This is the crux of why I'm lecturing you, and I want other people to hear it. There is a point. The point is in your mind. Well, it in your make sense, does it? No, you in your it. mind. You might you're as engaged. well keep the position if it's worth zero. There's absolutely no point in getting out. I hear what you're it. saying, but unfortunately then in your mind, now just listen to me, mentally, I... you're engaged and you're thinking about it you're looking at it, you're watching it, you're processing it, you're engaged, and you're missing out on other good calls. Financially, you're right. You're saying, well, if I risk 500 bucks and the trade is at a full $500 loss, what the hell, I may as well just hold it and see if it ends up flipping around and working. I get it. And if you were strong enough mentally to process, push forward, and push on, and continue to do other calls with that, Okay, but you're not, you're not. And so you're missing out on other ones then because you're bothered by the fact it's a loss and the trade, you get up every morning, uh, there it is, uh, there it is, uh, there it is. Melissa, and you're looking Melissa, at the one every day. You, you, miss, you were missing the point here. The point is, Target, Walmart. Yes. When you have a, when you have a number that follow on one after the other and you take a loss in it. Right. You start to think, why is that happening? First thing, you look at that situation and you try to analyze and decide on whether you are better waiting or looking for some other indication. That no, you're not. You're not. I, I get what you're saying and I get everything you're saying, but you, you're trying to say, I want to understand why every trade that doesn't work doesn't work. Forget it. There are times, like, there, there, first of all, Target continued higher. But the trade, oh, yes. it's, yeah, so I mean, the, the point is sometimes the trades will not work. It has nothing to do with what you're thinking. So you're, in your mind, you're trying to, you're trying to think, why didn't this work? You're not, it, it just didn't. Let it go. You're, 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 you're trying to figure something out that's not there. In the end, Walmart's going to move higher. Target did move higher, okay? I'm telling, and I don't know what you did with this one. What did you end up doing with this one? What did you end up oh, doing with Target? That, that, that went the same way. That just ran out of time. So you just took it and just let it all go bust until the end? Well, it's the same situation. I was in the similar situation. The, the point that I purchased that option, it literally, I must have got it the same, the same time, the high, when I, I took the, yeah. the option. Yeah. Uh, and, the, and it just literally bounced around, lost the value, and that was it. It died. 
I did think it was going to go, and it didn't. Uh, yeah, and it, it just didn't have, I can see here what happened with this chart moved higher, but it didn't do it fast enough with enough momentum to make the office yes. chain work aggressively up. I get it. I get it. But anyways, getting back to what I was saying is you're still trying to rationalize like two trades that didn't work. And then I called one, two, three, four, five that did, and you didn't do all of them. So do you see how that, I, I, I'm just, you, you're. Yes. So I do you, understand. I can see what you're saying. But you have to, it has to come to a point when you, you can't keep throwing money in and not, not bringing bringing money back in again to, into your account. If you keep throwing I know, out, but you're missing every it, trade it, that works that's good, uh, and you're taking the ones that don't. And it is happening like so much that I don't understand why you don't say. If I call, if I call a trade to, to if I call a trade tomorrow, that is a huge winner. You won't do it because the one I called today is currently down. Which, by the way, I truly believe is going to go. And I'm not going to talk about it here. I talked about it a little bit in the room this morning. The point is that you would probably not do tomorrow's trade because unless to today's trade went positive immediately today or tomorrow morning. So the point is, though, that you 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 have no, to be. No, 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 I would take it. You can't I, pick and choose the trades you're going to take if you want consistency. Boom, that's it. If you want consistency, that if I call 10 trades, you can't do, I'm going to do this one and not the next one. I'm going to do this one and not the next one. That is what you are doing, and that is yes. ridiculous. Yes, yes, you have to do. Because if you call a trade, which is obviously Google, it's an expensive option to purchase. As opposed to... It doesn't even matter. You Target. would have had a huge week if you had you, you done can't. BABA. You yeah, didn't do BABA it, because it didn't pull back. Contract. Huh? contract is, is, is very expensive. I know. Forget it. Forget so, Google. I don't even care. BABA worked. Facebook worked. Yeah. Apple worked. The spy worked. This is still working today. You didn't do this trade. Why? You completely have forgotten everything I've taught you because in your mind... No, you, I haven't. Yes, you have because you wanted this to pull back. It pulled back. It pulled back on Friday. I called the it, trade it, it on the 5th. Back, you should have been out down. of it. You should have been out of it on the 6th. You take it on the 5th, you get out of it in the 6th. You take it on the 5th, you get out of it the 6th. You take it on the 5th, you get out of it. You could have done it in one day and gotten out of it the next day. What's wrong with that? You could have I done couldn't. that. I couldn't. As I, explained, as I said to you before, I couldn't take it. When, I, when the option landed in my box, I didn't... I didn't I couldn't take action to, make, to, to buy well, the that, option. Well, that's a different story. I don't know if you could have called that's, the broker if you weren't sitting at your desk. But wait a minute. No, that's not even yes, true because I call all of these at the same time and you took Facebook. You did Facebook, luckily. Yes. Yes, I did. But well, the, well, this one, I couldn't take it. And when I did see it, it had moved a lot. And then when I looked at the option price, I thought, well, this is ridiculous. I'm getting it at the wrong time of day. If I buy this and then the so following you're day. you're overthinking it. You're overthinking it so much. You are like, you're like trying to go. You're overthinking it because, I listen, I love the fact well, you're analytical. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I'm you're not, not using it to your advantage. You're, us you're using it against yourself. You're like, you're like overanalyzing something to death where you're killing it. It's like you're, you're not in a flow. It's like if you were at the beach and a wave goes by and it goes, whoo, and it goes, sometimes you're, in the, you're at the beach and a wave goes by and you ride the wave into the, into the sand if you ride the waves or you're on a surfboard and you ride it in on the, on, the, on the floaty. And sometimes it goes over you and it takes you under. It's like every time the wave is taking you under, you're working against yourself instead of riding the wave in. It could take you far. It could be a quick ride. It could be a fun ride. It could be a slow ride in. You are, you're ticket and take, you're getting wiped out every time. You're just, it's like every single, I, I don't know what to, I just want to, uh, it's like if I had told you take this trade and get out here, you would have done it. You would have listened to me because I'm not saying take it right here, even though I'm sending the trades, I'm not forcing you to take it and then I'm not forcing you to get out, but you should know better. You are overthinking these things to the point now of this pullback nonsense of which you've been discussing now for more than a year, more than a year you've been talking about this crap and it doesn't even work. <laughs> And I and it's now affecting your ability to even take trades. I just don't. I don't. If you're really going to focus on it, options it, and you don't want to be in the room and be active anymore on day trades because you want to focus on options, I don't know what you're planning on doing between now and the end of the year. But if this is really what you're going to focus on, then you got to start making better choices and you can't pick and choose the trades you're going to take. Because inevitably, if I call seven trades, which I did in the last week, not including today's, and two are losers and five are winners, you will choose to do the ones that don't work. It's, it's the same old scenario. If 
you get you, you get confidence when you win. So the more winners you have, the more you feel like uh, you're going in the right direction. When you don't, then you have to rethink your situation. You really do. You, oh, you don't you, have any. You, you don't have. You're in you're no place bankrupt. now. You're yeah. bankrupt yourself. I know, you? but you're in no place to have confidence, and that's why. Guess what? You're lucky. You know me. So you got to have the confidence in me. Yeah. That means you got to take all the trades. So if you don't have confidence in me, then don't do anything. If you have confidence in me, you got to do them all. And then you, because that's how you're the only way you're going to get confidence in yourself. You can't be looking yeah. to yourself for confidence right now because in your head, you've screwed up your mind. You screwed up your mind listening to too many things. And really that was just a result of you making poor money management choices. Going back the last couple of years, which we talked about when I would call a trade and it wouldn't, and it wouldn't like, I don't even know if you had done like fast rewind two years ago, if I had called Facebook, and Baba, you might have, you might not have gotten out of these, and they were actually good trades and good exits. You might have held them thinking they were going to go even more, which they very well will, but not right this second, not right this second. But look, Baba did. So it's kind of like you might have, you might have missed your exit in Facebook, still being Baba from years ago when you were wanting everyone to be this massive, massive trades, and then you would hold on too long and you would let the ones that go bust go full bust. But I, I think you've made improvements with that. But your confidence right now. You, you, you need to go back to the basics, which I said six months ago. You need to go back to the basics of the stuff that I taught you in gaps, and you need to be looking at charts only focusing on the gaps, not pullbacks, and you need to follow me because your confidence isn't high, and you either have confidence in me or you don't. And I, I, when, I, when I emailed you last week and I said you should be up huge, I thought, I, thought you, I knew you weren't because you didn't email me. I knew that if you had done all the trades and taken them all right, you would have been very happy and you would have you would have emailed me and said, Oh my God, I really needed this and thank you so much and blah blah blah. I knew I knew I knew that you either A didn't do the trades or screwed them up. And at least you did at least you did at least you did Facebook. I mean, you know. At least you're up in the last week. So that's yes, positive. But the, but the problem is that I'm now taking them out sooner rather than letting them run for the for the amount that I'm losing, I'm losing more than I'm actually making because I'm taking You could not sooner. possibly have done that in Facebook. What did you risk in this trade in Facebook? How much did you risk? Dollars and cents? Um, I think it was 400. Okay, how much did you make? Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. You had to make at least but twice if you even that. held it for a day or did you get out the same day or what did you do? What, what did you get out of this? Um, Facebook. Um, I, can't, I can't remember, Melissa. Did you hold it down into the drop past the strike or not? Yes or no? Yes, I did. I think yeah, I did hold it down. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Then did. that that had that you had to turn your over your risk at least twice with that. Then I probably I, I don't think it was twice, but I probably doubled it. You had to make that. at least five six hundred bucks in that trade at least. And that's that's. I mean, like I say, I mean, I just take the trades. You know, do the paperwork, stick it in the file, and that's it. So I don't, I don't hang on to them. Even yeah, but that's okay. It. That's okay if you are taking quick profits. I don't have a problem with that. If there's one that you are in love with and you think this is amazing, then you could always email me and say, "What do you think about this one, Melissa? Do you think that this is worth holding?" Blah blah blah. That's an okay question. You can always email me. Now, yeah. I wouldn't have said that about this anyways or the other one because, you know, because of what's going on with the market right now, but because the market is so strong, market is still so strong, but I'm, but I'm just saying in general, if you're not sure, you can always email me. You can always right. email me. And, and here, Baba continued, but I thought the exit on that literally was the second day. And, and, yes. and you know, that was fine. And that, see, that would have been a good decision because then you would have been totally stressed out Friday. It did rally Friday, not knowing that this would have gapped down today, which it did. But either way, I don't have a problem with you taking profits out within 24, 48 hours. I don't have a problem with that at all. I think you that's better for you. But the problem is that you are not taking all the trades. And inevitably, you are choosing then to take them based on the fact you're either actively in one that's down, waiting for it to go so you don't do the next one, or you are concerned that the last one was a loser like Walmart, and then you don't do whatever the next one is. Not, not necessarily. I was in Walmart, and I also was in Target. Did you do my, Apple? I don't know. Well, yes, I did Apple, yes. Okay, then you should have made out in that. How much did you make in that trade? I, I did, but not to the amount that 
you know, I, I would have done it a while ago. I would have done very well with it because I would have held it. I would have been working on a larger size anyway. So, but I didn't. You didn't do what? You didn't risk more? I didn't, Not... I didn't, I didn't make the amount that I have been making. So it was only a small amount. Yeah, but I because mean... Because it's the same again, you see. It's like you were saying before. When you're up, when you're in profit, take the money. So it's a question of how many days and how long do you hold it? How much money do you want to make out of the, out of the position you're in? But again, it's okay if you... I'd rather see you get out early with money than hold it too long and let them lose. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with it. But again, you could have emailed me about this. You could have asked yes. me. You, yes, you, yes, I could. You, but you that's know. okay. But if you're taking half your risk... And then you get hit for a full risk, like I have been doing. Then you feel it, because the ones that have been going on to make have continued strong. And you but that is, it does seem, but, but it does seem to be the case. It does seem to be either I get it right or I don't. And then when I get it right, I really get it right. That that's just yes. that is me. I mean, you know that from working with me for years. Like it's like that's why I'll. Yes. I, that's why like I mean, half the people didn't even do. The Facebook and Baba ones, they, I mean, they just on Google, they didn't even think. Like, and I called Google so late. I mean, you could have done that the day after. I called that so late, so late, and I even knew it was going to work, and it did. I mean, you know, which, I know it's expensive. Day, which day did you call Google? I called it on the day of the 5th, the same day as all of them, but it was late. Late meaning not in the morning pre-market. It was later yes. in that day. Later in the Half day, way, actually, it had rallied. Yeah, yes. that was actually a perfect price to take it. It but you rallied. Say again. I mean, after the, after the second day, that third day when it got down, mm -hmm. to me, that would have been an ideal situation to take it as a, as a short. Yes, I know it hadn't broken. Yeah, that's the it day it went into the money. Yeah, it hadn't broken the, the low, but it, it, it just fell away then after that, didn't it? I know, but... I you know, either way, you can, you, you still, you could have afforded to do that with just less size. You just don't want to take one or two contracts and something, but you could have. I do. You know. <laughs> What's up to the south? Anyways, that I, I want you to do better. If you're truly going to focus on options the rest of the year, instead of day trading, that's a hundred percent up to you. I still think doing both is the right thing. I don't know where you're at with everything, but I'm telling you that. One of the problems that I've noticed, and I see this is with other people too, is again, if I happen to call seven trades, five work, two don't. People don't do the five that work, and that you can't, you can't, you can't do that. And if you're, if you ever have a concern, if something you think is something is a good exit, or if you should get out of it there, then ask me. And that's just, that's just asking me because. I'm good at you. yeah. I'm good at reading something if I think this is the day to, to get out or, or not or whatever. Right. Right. I will. But I mean, taking profits is not negative, no matter where you're getting now. It's just that you're not doing all the trades. It's all. So 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 this one here today. You're down in, but I really like it. So you got to see what happens with it. But stick with whatever your money management is. If you're playing them all out, then play them all out. This has not failed. I think this goes on to work, and if I call something else this week, you need to you need to do it. I mean, even if that means put, putting your size down if, to take all the trades, but I don't think that's why you didn't do. I don't think that's why you didn't do Baba, and I know that's not why you didn't do Google. No, it was the timing in Baba. That's simple as that. I just missed. I missed what I considered to be a more fruitful time to take the trade, and it did prove so. I could have taken it the following day when it pulled back into itself, and I didn't. I saw the price. You didn't because it was you thought it was too expensive or what? No, I should have just taken it. I was watching it and I saw it pull back to yeah. what was it? Uh, 166, I think it was. So, um, that would have been an ideal situation to take it to go short again. I'm telling you, there you you got there's no other way to get your confidence up besides making money. And the problem is, if you're not going to follow what I do to the letter, you're gonna you're gonna struggle with that because because of, because of your confidence. So it's you got to focus on the things that you know that I taught you and take the trades and kind of step away from yourself a little bit because 
you're because you're all over the place with what you should be doing right now. Like you got to almost step outside of yourself a little bit and, and, and you got to just kind of have a faith that I'm going to be calling good traits, you know, and, and, and I do, it's just that you haven't like the last week, I mean, for, for this kind of period over the holiday, I, I mean, all those traits worked and I really don't think many people did them all. So, you know, what are you going to do? It's like, you got to You got to take the trades. It's the only way you're going to make money. Yes. Yes, it is. Right. Okay. Thank you. You want to go over anything else with me now or ask me anything else that you're, you're up to? I uh, know there's, a, I'm only in, uh, I'm only in this one that today that you've called and that's, and I'm increasing the risk as well in that. So we'll be interested to see where it goes. Yeah, uh, that's the only one that that's on right now that I th that I think goes, and it could go in a heartbeat. So watch it and see where this is at tomorrow morning. But I really don't think I don't feel like this is any big deal today. We fell today, but it's like nothing really. That's how I'm looking at this. So I know the price yes. is down, but as far as the chart and everything else, like I mean, this just this just didn't have enough oomph to keep going here today on a Monday to start out the week. And that's all. But I mean, I like it. I, I, I like it. And I think this goes. And so just follow yes. whatever money management you have and um, don't get too heavy in these adding when they pull down though, so that you're, you're, you're oversized. You said you added, what did you do? Uh, yes, I have. <laughs> you were crazy. <laughs> you were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you should have done if this gapped up tomorrow morning that would have been a time to add now it wouldn't have pulled your price down but then you would have had the confirmation see that or, or, or you know or well, yes yes but i do think i mean obviously even where the price is now it's just sitting there at resistance isn't it i mean it hasn't gone anywhere like you said he's not saying anything anything negative about that chart is it so yeah yes, it's just the monday on itself I don't, have, I don't have any problem with it. I really don't. Not today, anyway. All right. All right. It was good talking to you, Philip. I will talk to you, you soon. Too. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.